often open your produce drawer only to be frustrated by all the spoiled veggies? Well, I'm going to show you how to prolong the life of those vegetables and save you time and money. Are you sick and tired of fruits and vegetables spoiling in the fridge before you can use them? It's such a waste of money. It happens to all of us, though. Well, our food pro is here with some quick tips for protecting your produce and saving you some cash. A lot of people have told me they've stopped buying fresh produce because it goes bad so quickly. Well, it doesn't have to. I'm going to show you how to prolong the life of your produce so that you're not throwing away money or veggies. The first thing you want to look for is extra moisture in the bag. Grocery stores spray the produce to keep it fresh all day, but that's not going to keep it fresh at home. You also want to make sure that they're not twist tied. At the grocery stores, they often knot them too. That's no good. Now these salad bags are great. You can leave them as is, but once you open them, don't use a chip clip. You want to keep them open and breathing. First, I wash and dry all of my produce. I take the lettuce out of the bag, then cut the bottom off the lettuce. Now it's ready to wash. Separate the leaves as you wash them. The last thing you want is dirt in your salad. And it's all ready to be dried. Plot it a little bit. Now that they're all nice and dry, I'm just going to wrap them loosely in paper towels to keep away any excess moisture. Then I put them back in the bags that they came in. Most refrigerators have designated produce drawers, but most of them are too small to actually store all the produce you want to be eating. So store some in, making sure to leave room. The last thing you want to do is overcrowd the drawers. Then, if you store some in the regular refrigerator, it's totally fine, especially because you might even be more likely to eat it. So by taking these few extra steps now, not only will you prolong the life of your veggies, you'll save time and money. I'm Devin Alexander, America Now. Devin, do we store limes, oranges, and lemons the same way? Actually, with citrus, it's the opposite. You don't want to wash them, you just put them in a bag and seal the bag. You don't want a dry orange, that doesn't taste good. But once you're going to eat them, then you want to wash them if you're going to be eating the peel or the zest. I haven't been sealing the bag, see? Great information, thank you, Devin.